it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing Mr. Tambourine Man by Bob Dylan. This song is pretty easy to play, it's mostly just three chords. There are some little arrangement quirks that I'll get you up to speed on, and then you'll be playing an awesome sounding cover of it on piano. Let's jump in. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. There's a link down in the description that's going to help you follow along and see where the chords and the lyrics line up with each other. Because of reasons that will become apparent, I think the chords and lyrics chart is even more important than usual for this one. And this song is in the key of F major. So all white keys except for the Bs are flat. And then this is middle C here, so you can get the octave. Let's go over the three main chords we'll be using. We've got F major. We're doing an inversion on a typical F major chord. Uh, a C with the second finger and F here. And I'm doing that inversion because it flows so nicely into the B flat chord. So our fifth finger can stay on that F. And if you're doing this inversion with the second finger, the third finger is already where it needs to be for the D and you can just kind of move that first finger up to the B flat. So B flat, D and F there. And then finally we need a C major chord. We can do root position on that, just C, E and G. Let's start out with the intro. It looks like this, just four measures of F major. We're in 4-4 four, four time, so each of those measures gets four counts. Thinking kind of a fast 4-4 four, four time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna add a left hand bass note here, so a little more than an octave down. I'm gonna be playing a low F with my fifth finger. And here's the rhythm I'm going to play throughout the song. Sounds like that. So I am hitting on beat one with the left hand. On beat two, I'm hitting the right hand, not playing on count three, and then playing again on four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can just loop that, get the hang of it. It's a little less intense than the, all the picking Bob Dylan's doing, but that doesn't translate very well to piano, and I think this sounds great. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One final optional detail you could do on this intro. He does a little bit of changing the F to an F sus2. So that would be moving this A to the G. And it sounds good every other measure, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just gives a little bit of color and variety. Cool, and then we've got, hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. So we are in the chorus. Here's the chorus for the chorus. I'm just gonna keep on doing that rhythm pattern I showed you, and let's add the left hand bass notes. So one thing that isn't obvious by the chords and lyrics chart is all the B flats he plays with a D bass note. So D is in that B flat major chord, but typically you might hear the B flat bass note. That has a little bit of an interesting color to it. So for all the B flats in this song, I'm gonna do the D instead of the B flat. It just looked too messy to do the slash D on every single B flat on the chords and lyrics chart. And then of course for the C major chords, I'm gonna step down to a C bass note. And you could do that by moving your thumb like that or stepping to your second finger. I'll probably do a little bit of both. And then of course we've got the F. A lot of going back and forth between the F and the B flat in this song. I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going to. So two measures of C there. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. So that's the whole chorus. Now, I'm only showing you one measure of F at the very end of the chorus. In reality, it goes around for a few more measures, but it's different every time. For example, this first chorus ends with three measures of F. Following you, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two. Though I know that... And so I made it really clear on the chords and lyrics chart how many measures you are supposed to do at the end of the choruses. So it's almost always four measures. This first one is just randomly three. Um, and then it's sometimes two when it's about to go into a harmonica solo. So you can just follow along and see. One other detail you can throw in when we are halfway through the chorus and we have the two measures of C. You could do a little sus four on the second measure. Um, so that's just changing the middle note from the E 
to the F using my fourth finger. So I'll be throwing that in as well. So let's look at the first verse. Here is the chords for that. This is the first half of it. Each verse is sort of in two halves. In the first verse, the two halves are the exact same. Here's what it's gonna sound like. Though I know that evening's empire has returned into sand, vanished from my hand, left me blindly here to stand, but still not sleeping. Okay, so we gotta talk about that G minor seven. I threw in the sus4 there, by the way. Um, so the G minor seven, you can voice the right hand exactly as you do as the B flat. It's just with a G bass note there. And most of the time it's like this where you got the B flat and the G minor seven in the same measure. So that's two counts of each. So you would do B flat two, G minor seven, four, and then up to C. And then like I said, the verse continues on. It goes through this whole progression again. My weariness amazes me. I'm branded on my feet. I have no one to meet And the ancient empty streets Too dead for dreaming and Then it just goes into another chorus Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man Cool. So at this point, I've basically taught you everything you need to know to play the song, but there is some quirky stuff where it's not always the same thing for all the verses. First thing I wanna mention is sometimes that measure with a G minor seven is just four beats of G minor seven and he totally skips the B flat. So it would look like that. First time that comes up is in the first half of verse two. My toes too numb to step. Wait only for my boot heels to be wandering. And it also happens in the second half of the third verse. It happens both times through the harmonica solo verses. And then it happens in the second half of the fourth verse as well. Now you'll notice as you play through on the chords and lyrics chart, there just won't be a B flat. It'll go straight from the F to the G minor seven. So you'll know, but I don't think Bob Dylan planned all that out. I think it's just what he happened to do when he recorded it. So you don't have to be faithful to exactly what happened to happen, but I thought I'd throw it in and talk about it. Another very quirky thing that just happens once is for the second half of verse two, it's gonna look like this. So we have a measure of two four time in the B flat. Really it's because it goes to the B flat, but then it stays on the G minor seven for a whole measure. And that is to kind of accommodate the lyrics there. Into my own parade, cast your dancing spell my way. I promise to go under so that's dancing spell my way one two one two three four c kind of weird the other thing that's different from verse to verse is sometimes there's just more lyrics he just kind of keeps going on the f to the b flat so here's the chords for example for the first half of the fourth verse where he's really sort of expanding on the lyrics and notice there's just two extra lines there of the f b flat f b flat then take me to through the smoke grains of my mind Down the foggy ruins of time Far past the frozen leaves The haunted frightened trees Out to the windy beach Far from the twisted reach Of crazy sorrow so we don't need to go through and talk about exactly how it is in each verse. Just follow along with the chords and lyrics chart. You'll just see the F to the B flat to the F to the B flat along with the lyrics. And then when it goes to the B flat to the G minor seven, you'll know what's going on there. There's a lot of back and forth between the F and the B flat in the harmonica solo. Now, if you don't have a harmonica player and you're just kind of doing an instrumental on piano, you might want to shorten that just so it looks like a regular verse. And speaking of that, the song ends going into another harmonica solo that sounds like it's going around on the FB flat a lot, but the song just fades out. So I think you have a couple options there. At the end of the last chorus, you could just do, in the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. And then go around as many times on F as you want and just end on F and have that be your conclusive ending without a fade out or anything. Or you could go around to the instrumental harmonica solo. And if you do, just do two measures of F. Following you, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then go around. 
that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to shorten that harmonica solo to be just like a chorus and end on the F. All right, cool. That is all there is to it. I know I talked about a lot of little details. I'm now going to just play it all the way through so you can see everything in action. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click the bell so you know when I put out more videos just like this one. Okay, here is my version of Mr. Tambourine Man. I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going